There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. Wherever you are, it's somewhere walking straight for you. It follows to, to me and to us is a, a modern day classic with the tension of this, this thing just coming after you. Everything's okay. And so we've got lots of moments like that within, uh, within Little Hope of these things which appear and start coming for you. The Omen. No! I've talked previously about the Omen uh, trilogy in the original Omen movies. And if you think about the bombastic music that you have in those moments. Well, if you've seen our, our prologue, we have some of that orchestral style and it's really dramatic and, and we wanted to evoke those same feelings. They are here among us. They are here among us. Nancy? The Conjuring, that's really focused on the feel of the 70s and those quiet moments in a house, that quiet creaking sound of something not quite right. And that's something that we, you know, we wanted to take on and, and, and look at. I think so too. I saw Sarah Good with the devil. We talked about the crucible and, and that sort of idea of the witchcraft and the witch trials and that real human horror, the injustice of it. These people are innocent or are they? And, and really putting that in players' minds. And we, that's a theme that we play on again and again and again throughout This All Hope. Do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. Interestingly, on Little Hope, Will Poulter was working on the Black Mirror series at the same time as he was working for us. You know, that was a real interesting thing for us because it's someone else being influenced by us, we like to think, you know, and it reaches towards what we're doing. None of us have ever been through anything like this before. So obviously Silent Hill, um, in terms of the sort of isolated feeling, the way that they used fog and, and trapping you um, and understanding what the story is and, and trying to get that. And we wanted to, that's how we wanted to differentiate ourselves from them, um, making things a little bit clearer whilst also opaque. We've all played a lot of the other recent horror games with Evil Within, the Resident Evil series. And we all play um, the, you know, the David Cage games, the Detroits and all those kinds of things. And we look at what those guys do and they're all fantastic games. But we like to think we know what we're doing in that space because it's what we do a lot of now. Um, you know, a lot of our influences come from ourselves about what we've done that's worked and what we've done that hasn't worked. So we talk about that a lot. We review our old software. We've got a, quite an interesting history within the horror genre now. Um, so there's a lot for us to play with on that. We want to make you feel certain things the way other movies and games make you feel. You know, with a movie or a TV series, there's a start and there's an end. There's an outcome that's gonna happen. Um, we get to play with what if, and we get to put those what ifs in the player's hands. Okay, I trust you. You can do this. 